Hey and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to model this cooker knob inside of Maya. As requested, I'm going to be making a few more of these mini modeling tutorials like this. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is just create a cylinder and just give it some thickness like this. And just set the subdivisions to 28, which should stop some of the pinching. Right, so in face mode, just delete the top and bottom faces like this. And then once you've done that, just fill in the top face. So go shift and hold the right mouse button and go to fill. Now with the multi-cut tool, um, just reconnect the verts, making everything nice and quartered. Something like this will work well. Right, so we need to extrude up the middle faces. Um, I'm going to do this in face mode. I'm just going to hold tab on the keyboard just to paint select the selection. Okay, so just grab the edges back here and just bring them up to form the shape. Don't worry about the other edges just yet. What we're actually going to want to do um, in vertex mode is just go to the target weld tool. So shift and hold right mouse button, go to merge verts, target weld tool. And just merge these verts into the ones on the base. Just the verts in the middle until you have a nice slope. I'm just going to rotate them and place them here like this. And then just grabbing these ones, I'm just going to form a nice little lump on the front, which you can see on the reference. So if you look at the reference, there's this nice bevel which runs down here and around. To emulate this, select all the edges like so. I think that's all of them. And then just uh, bevel them. Right, let's just leave it at one segment. Adding two is what we actually want, but if we do this with the bevel, you can see how it makes this kind of weird pinch in here. So I'm just going to leave the segments to one, and then just use the multi-cut tool to add an edge through the middle of each loop. Use the middle mouse button just to uh, place it in the center. Okay, so let's unhide these models. There we go. And um, you can just see how the right one is so much cleaner compared to the beveled one on the left. We're getting this nice edge running through here. I mean, yes, you probably could fix the bevel subdivisions, but this way is so much faster. It's subtle, but it does make a bit big kind of difference. Right, so now all you need to kind of do is just extrude in the base, or kind of fill it in, and you're done. This tutorial has been super short. More short kitbash modeling tutorials coming soon. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.